Hello and welcome. This is Nikhil Raj, course director for Tutomash.com. In this session, we will be covering the topic import and export. Whenever you work with Primavera, all the data are stored in its database. And if you want to take out the file from its database, you have to go for export. And when you take out the file, the Primavera file will be in XER format. And this is how a Primavera file look like. Okay. And when you do export from the database of Primavera, you can actually export it to XLS, that means Excel, or you can export it to Microsoft Project Format, that is .mpp, or you can convert it to XML format, and you can convert it to XER format. So these are the possibilities of exporting from Oracle database. And when you do import, you can actually import from Excel files, you can actually import. Also you can do import from Microsoft project file. Before you import a Microsoft project file, you have to make sure it has to be saved in .mpx format. Because when you normally save a Microsoft project file, it will be saved in .mpp. But if you want to import a Microsoft project file to Primavera, you have to save the file as .mpx. And rest of the things are all same. You can convert XML, XER files. You can actually import to Primavera database. Now we will see how to do export and import in Primavera. So let's open the software. So here is Primavera. So the, all the projects you can see here, it's visible here. Now, if you want to export a project, let's say if you want to export this project, Sheetal Serenity Apartment Project Number 1, you have to open it first. So right click and open the project. After that you can go to File and you can say Export. Now you can see a new window has popped up. From here you can export it to Primavera XER file and you can choose on which format or which version you want to export. So from 5th version 6 up to 8.3 is available here. So I am going to select 8.2. Okay, so this is XER file. After choosing this you can press next. Now you can choose what kind of data to be exported, whether the project, project means the resource, everything will come into project. Or you can just export the resource, or you can just export the roles. Say next. Now the program has selected the project, just say next. When you reach this area, you have to choose the place where you want to save the file. So now I'm going to save it into documents. So here the name is something like Hilal Villa. I'm going to change it. You to mash project and press save. Now the project is saved. After that say finish. Now the export was successfully completed. You can actually see the file on documents. Here is the project, Tutomash project. So this is how we export a file from the database. Now if you want to import, you can just double click the file. So the program will come up with import option. You can see the program has come up with import option. And program choose the location by itself, say next. As you already know, just now we exported this file and right now we are importing it. That means the both files are same. Now the Primavera is giving a warning that the project listed in the grid below are found in your import file. If the same projects already exist in the database, the match checkbox will be selected. That means when you import a project which is already there in the database, program will try to update the existing project. Here you can see a column called as import action. That means as the two projects are of same condition, program is giving you an option to update the existing project. But if you don't want to update the existing project, you can simply click here, 
so that you can give any of this option that like add into existing project create new project replace existing project like that so here I'm going to give create new project option that's it after that press next now the program is giving again a warning please click on the import to field to select an EPS for import project that will be used to create a new project here in import to option you have to choose an EPS where the project will come under so you can click here here is the EPS as there is only one EPS you can choose that yes select it say next next finish okay all right now close it now we can go back to project you can see there is two project one is what we exported and the same exported file we have imported so this is how export and import works in Primavera now if you want to export the file to other format it's very easy go to file say export again let's say if you want to convert it to spreadsheet you can just click spreadsheet and say next and you can choose what are the data to be exported so I would say here all activities and uh, resources is not required just activities is enough say next and you can choose which project need to be exported so here I would choose this project as SAP 2020 and say next now here you have to choose a template so you can press add so this is the new template let's say we can give the name as new template to Excel now here you can choose the columns that you want to export to spreadsheet so here there is a lot of available options here and here is the selected options from here let's say I'm going to choose uh, duration percentage complete as well okay so it is selected after that you can press ok now the template has been selected now you can press next so here program will choose the location where the file is saved so here the location is in documents say next that's it finish so the export was successful let's see the file go to documents and here you can see the excel file you can just double click and open it in excel so here here is the exported file exported project you can see the WBS code activity name start date end date resource etc so if you want to customize it you can customize it by yourself so this is how we export it to spreadsheet so that's how export and import works in Primavera and hope you understand and thanks for watching